I look around at the people that I rub shoulders with in this community, and there's a lot of people pursuing hope, but there aren't a lot of people who have found true hope that cannot be affected or changed by circumstances around them. Our desire is, is that the massive margin of people in our city, in our community, who right now find their hope in their job or in their relationships, that these people would find their hope in Christ's finished work on the cross. Church planning for us has been much harder than I ever anticipated it, and it's been much slower than I ever anticipated it. I think there was part of us that still felt like, yeah, we just like open up a building, you know, like open up a church and just people, you know, a bunch of people will come. It's been challenging, of course. You know, you just, you'd like to kind of come in one Sunday and just see all the seats filled. And not so much to pat ourselves on the back, but to just experience what I've had the opportunity and experience in that relationship with Christ. It was a meeting with Ben on a weekly basis, you know, uh, over coffee or whatever, and, and just understanding what the gospel meant and, and what it meant for, for me and what it meant, could mean for others. It's not flashy and it's not like super exciting, but we're committed to spend the time and energy and patience that it takes to really live that out as unexciting as it can be at times. We'd kind of seen the process with Ben of deciding where they wanted to plant a new church. One night at dinner he had asked us, like, do you want to move to Howell with us? So we talked and prayed and a lot about it for a couple weeks and then really decided, like, what are we doing with our lives? Like, how are we affecting the gospel and how are we sharing our faith with others? So it was kind of at that point that we decided to move to Anchor. I am constantly blown away by God's graciousness and His love and care and commitment for the local church and specifically for Anchor and the way that He's answered so many different prayers that's brought us to this place. And I even look at the people that he's brought to be a part of our core team. You know, those are people, especially those who have moved, you know, where they've literally sold their house to move to Howell to be a part of Anchor. That's stuff that like only God can do. It's been exciting to see people be willing to not commit to me or even to Anchor Church, but to commit to the fact that, you know, because God has loved them and, and rescued them out of darkness, that they now want to go and be a part of the mission of pointing others towards Jesus and the hope that they've been shown. What was really kind of there was the transparency piece and just being gospel-centered. I love that we don't kind of pick and choose different parts of the Bible and, oh, we don't really want to talk about that passage because that might make people uncomfortable. Just being literally honest with everything about the Bible, going through it verse by verse. We're like trying to create genuine relationships that point people to Jesus so that the mission of Anchor happens not just simply from a weekend service centrally, but it really happens in the context of individual people who are part of Anchor who are missionaries on mission in their neighborhoods, in their blocks, and all throughout the city of Howell. I don't know like what the next, you know, what the next year, next two, next three, next four years of Anchor holds. But what I do know is like God cares and loves us and He has a desire for people in our, in our community, in the city of Howell, come to know Him. And we're just praying that God would continue to bring people who don't know Jesus and people who like have moved into our community and who love Jesus and want to be on mission. Mm -hmm.